In this video, we'll be reviewing the team user license option for Zoho CRM's CRM for Everyone UI. There is something new inside of CRM for Everyone, which can be particularly useful for any businesses that might need some team members to access Zoho CRM without actually having a user license enabled and available. Before we get started, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. If you have any comments or requests for future tutorial videos, be sure to drop a comment. We love seeing all of the requests that you have and we like to make sure that we build a video for you. And if you need any assistance with your Zoho implementation, please go over to our website, zanata.com, click on book a meeting and then enter your information to meet with a member of our team today. So let's go ahead and get started. So I just in this demo account that we have for Zoho CRM, I just enabled the CRM for everyone UI feature and we can actually see this pop up for us live. So a lot of you folks might've already seen something about this opening up your CRM, but something that's new is the team module. And so what this is intended to do is to bring every customer facing team onto the CRM to coordinate their processes seamlessly. And again, this team user subscription plan option allows you to add external users who might not have a Zoho One license if you're using something like Zoho One or a subscription bundle like CRM Plus. And it allows those external users to have access to certain modules within the CRM. And so if I go ahead and click on the next button here, actually, you'll see there is a note. This is applicable to all editions except for the free edition of CRM. So CRM for everyone should be available in every single edition. And and then the team module will only be accessible within a paid edition of Zoho CRM. So if we click on next, there is a team space. So this allows you to organize your customer facing team effectively with the team spaces. And we'll show you a little bit of what that looks like before we give some insights onto the team user plan and billing option. There's also the contextual sidebars. And so you're able to categorize now in CRM plus all of the modules on this left side panel, which we could kind of see on my screen here. Again, we do have a CRM for everyone video if you want some more information on what is encompassed in CRM for everyone. And this video is specifically to review the team structure associated with the billing. And so you might already know at this point in the juncture that CRM for everyone has a brand new UI that looks kind of like this. And so we'll have the modules configured on the left side instead of in the top bar. But there is a specific thing Feature that I would like to direct you to before we start diving into the billing details for the team user subscriptions. And so you'll see that we have certain team spaces available down here. So team spaces allow you to have certain modules lumped together. Certain folks assigned to that team space will be able to access those modules with certain limitations. And so in the old UI version of Zoho CRM, this is kind of the equivalent of a tab inside of Zoho CRM before CRM for Everyone was implemented and released. And so in order to go to the team spaces section of your Zoho CRM for Everyone UI, uh, there are one of two ways. And so you can either select your team space using this drop down option here. Uh, these are just two examples of some team spaces that we have on our demo account. And so you can either go to new team space or manage team space. And so if I click on manage team space, this will direct me over to the part of the setup where the team space can be configured. So again, if you would like to access the team space feature, going back to the home screen, the second way that you can access this is by clicking on the setup indicated by the gear icon in the bottom left hand corner. And then on this left side panel, you can either scroll down to customization and then team space, or you can search team space in the search bar and that will direct you over to that setting. And so this is where you'll be able to manage all of the team spaces. But again, in this video, we specifically want to discuss the CRM pricing and additions with reference to team user licenses. And so let's say that we have a team space. Uh, let's go ahead and create one and I'll add some modules in here. So a good example of what you would use a team user license for is again, team user licenses are for any external users using your Zoho CRM that don't necessarily need to have a Zoho one license or a CRM plus license, but you need them to see some of the modules in CRM and be able to edit and manage that information. So a good example of this, let's say that we have an outside sales team, perhaps they're contractors. I don't necessarily want to purchase an entire Zoho license for them, um, but I do want them to be able to manage the leads within their ownership. And so with that being said, I'll select the leads module. And let's say this outside sales team only manages leads, gets them converted. And then upon conversion, I have my inside sales team handling that. And so again, this is with context of this team space being created for outside sales. So once I click on add to create this team space here, I can go ahead and label it. And so I'll say outside sales is the name of the team space. And then let's say that I want to add some additional modules as well. Perhaps I want to add the tasks as well as the meetings so that they're able to log tasks and meetings with reference to their sales work. And I'll also add in calls and emails as well, or perhaps not emails. 
And so let's say that I do want my outside sales team to be able to reference their dashboard that I build out for them, but I don't necessarily need for them to be able to see specific reports. This is a way that you're able to configure whether reports and dashboards will be allocated to uh, be accessible to this team space. As you're creating a team space, you will see down here the permission setting, and this isn't necessarily the space where you'll be able to add those external users. And so this space here is where you'll be able to add the internal users. So anyone that does have a Zoho license on your account. Um, so I'll go ahead and click on save here. And then we can see that we have our outside sales team space created. And so again, in context of this example here, we have an outside sales team uh, that will be managing certain leads within their ownership, but I don't need them to necessarily have access to the fuller Zoho CRM. I'm actually going to pivot over to Zoho CRM's pricing and additions page. And so if we look down here, we can see all of the Zoho CRM information. So their standard pricing and different subscription options just for the CRM itself. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see some information on team users. And this is mainly what I want to be able to review with you today. And so the team users feature um, allows you to have various teams contribute to the smooth running of your sales cycle, bringing them into the CRM and allowing you to close your deals faster. And that's the blurb that Zoho likes to attach here to the CRM for everyone team users functionality. If you don't already know, you are able to go to our website in order to view all of the different Zoho bundles that are available. And you can see all of the standard pricing, the apps that are available. So just a, a quick little plug for that in case you're kind of deliberating which subscription bundle to use. So if we look at Zoho One, it starts at $37 per user per month. CRM Plus has $57 per user per month. And then we can see all the other pricing here for the other bundles available that Zoho offers. If we pivot back over to this screen here where Zoho CRM lists out the team user pricing, we can see that team users can be added for $9 per team user per month. Um, so that is available as an add-on. And so what are team users? And so this is a quick overview of team users and what it entails. And so there is the organization versus team levels in Zoho CRM. So the data in Zoho CRM is organized into data modules. And so we were able to see that and I'm going to pivot my screen back over to the CRM here. And so we do have all of these modules and fields that are available within the CRM. And you can see here right next to every single module is the team space. And so what team spaces have this module available and accessible within it? And so what the org modules are, they are all of the modules associated to your organization. And so pivoting back here, leads, contacts, accounts, deals, so on and so forth. Everything that exists is an organization module. But if we're looking at team modules, team modules will contain kind of the specific data that you need specific teams to be able to see. And so the users that work on those particular modules are labeled in Zoho terms as team users. And so outside of their team modules, they only have partial access to the CRM and functionality. Whereas for the modules that are included in their team space that they have access to or are assigned to, they'll be able to have full functionality within those modules. So again, with that added context here, Going back to team spaces, we have outside sales in our example, and our goal is to have team users added to this outside sales team space to only access the leads module and supplementary modules that support it. And so scrolling down a little bit here, we can see the organization modules um, as well as team modules. So what team users are able to do versus what they're not able to do. So with organization modules, team users are able to view, add notes, they can add tags, they can add attachments to any records in up to 10 of the organization modules. They are able to get view only access to any Zoho integration tabs. And so if you have, um, let's pivot back to the CRM here and let's scroll down a little bit. So a good example of this would be the Zoho Finance integration. If you do have Zoho Finance integrated with your Zoho CRM, then you'll be able to have the Zoho Finance module available here. And this is essentially an embed of Zoho Books. And so what this is in reference to this piece here of view access only to Zoho integration tabs, this Zoho Finance, as well as the Zoho Expense, are just some examples of the integrated Zoho applications within the CRM. So Finance, Expense, this is another example in our demo account of Zoho Projects, and so this opens up an embed of Zoho projects. And so with that being said, team users will be able to get view only access to any of those integration tabs. So let's say outside sales team, um, perhaps I want them to be able to see any projects that we have uh, with relation to those leads. Something else that we could see is maybe Zoho Finance. Do we have an expired quote? Is this a lead that already had a quote related to them? And so that's an example of, you know, get, giving them that view only access to Zoho integration tabs. They are also able to view and create public custom views. And so this is going over to the CRM here. If I open up the leads module up here in the kind of top left hand corner of the drop down option, these are the public views and public views are any of the views that are available for the team to be able to see. 
And so team users will be able to add in a new custom view. And so custom views will allow them to kind of silo certain lead records or information based on criteria being met within those lead records. We can see that they are also able to interact with other users in feeds. And so pivoting back over to our CRM UI, uh, feeds is essentially a space where you'll be able to share back and forth commenting and information between different team members with relation to your Zoho CRM data set. Team users will also be able to access Zoho CRM mobile apps. And so if your team is using the CRM mobile app in order to process leads, leave notes, your team users will be able to do that as well. And so again, that feeds really nicely into the example scenario that we're following of our outside sales team being allocated to a team space and being a team user in our Zoho CRM. So with reference to organization modules, what team users are not able to do is that they are not able to own records or have any sort of admin level permissions. If our outside sales team, in our example, is able to manage leads, I know I mentioned earlier within their ownership, those records will not be able to be owned by a team user. Let's say that I have a sales manager that does have a full Zoho license with our subscription bundle. I will then have that specific manager be the owner of the record records, and then my team users will be able to access those records, view them, add notes, add tags and attachments. And so that's the kind of permission set that they'll be able to have in an example of what that can end up looking like. So team users will not be able to access reports and dashboards within your Zoho CRM. So that is something that is essential if you need them to be able to access reports and dashboards. Another alternative could be just leveraging something like Zoho Analytics and having a scheduled function run to send them an email copy of those reports and dashboards. But unfortunately, something that will be restricted with the organization modules is they won't be able to access those pieces. They also won't be able to initiate calls or meetings. And so while they'll be able to leave notes, add tags, add attachments to any of those call records or meeting records, they won't necessarily be able to initiate any of those pieces to trigger subsequent functionality in Zoho CRM. Something else team users won't be able to do is creating or managing automation. So that's something that will be entirely restricted. Team users will not be able to access your setup. They won't be able to access those settings or manage automation within your Zoho CRM. They also will not be able to access AI or Zia features within CRM or access Google and Microsoft integrations. And that is more so just a privacy restriction, just to make sure that team users aren't granted permission sets that could integrate their email suite with Zoho CRM that is owned and managed by your organization. So that's more of a security privacy measure that's implemented to prevent them from being able to access that. And so a key thing to examine here is the difference between organization modules and team modules. So team modules will be any modules available within the team space that they are assigned to. So again, Let's go back to the CRM here and examine the team space. Actually, let's look at all of the modules and fields. And so an organization module in our example here would be any modules that do not have the team space of outside sales. So I do see here that my leads module has outside sales accessibility, as well as my tasks module and meetings module as well as the calls module available within the outside sales team space. And so with that being said, an example of an organization module is something like contacts. And so the contacts module is available. It does exist in my organization. However, it is not included as a part of the outside sales team space. And so that's an example of an organization module. And then an example of a team module would be the leads, tasks, meetings, and calls in this example, because they are assigned to the outside sales team space. Um, so pivoting back over to this chart here, these are things that your team users will be able to do with reference to their team modules. And so they, within a team module that they have access to, they will be able to own and perform all operations on the team module records. Let's say that a team user has access to their leads. They are able to have a lead within their ownership because they are added to that team space. And that team space includes the leads module within it. They are also able to customize team modules and manage automation specifically for those team modules. So let's say that you want them to be able to add in their own automations for email correspondence. That is something that they are able to customize if they are assigned to that team module, they can manage automations for it. That is also something that you're able to restrict like any other user license, you, you'll be able to restrict what those users have access to. Team users are also able to associate web forms with their team modules. And so if there is a web form generated through Zoho CRM that you would like them to integrate with the leads module in our one example of outside sales, that is something that they will be able to do. They also are able to send emails, send mass emails, as well as using the mail merge functionality with any of their team modules, as well as managing those custom views. 
What team users will not be able to do for any team modules they have access to through their team space is that they won't be able to build and access reports and dashboards based on team modules. And so that is still a piece of functionality that will be omitted from the team users being able to access. And again, I'm referencing kind of that standard solution. Let's have an analytics table or report or dashboard generated for them to be able to see. And then we can have a scheduled function sending an email out to them with that information. Something else they won't be able to access with reference to team modules is they won't be able to build custom functions widgets or access the sandbox. And so those features are only available within team modules, um, but they can only be accessed by those fully licensed users. So something to note there. If you are an existing Zoho CRM user and you're curious about adding team users to your Zoho CRM instance, you are able to contact Zoho. If you're making kind of your first purchase, you can add team user licenses from there. Those will be listed out as add-ons in the Zoho store. Team spaces, team modules, and team users are only available in the CRM for everyone UI. So if you haven't yet upgraded your Zoho CRM from the standard CRM where the tabs are aligned at the top and you would like to upgrade that over to CRM for everyone, that is when you'll be able to access the team spaces, team modules, as well as team users as an option for your Zoho subscription plan. If you are an existing Zoho CRM user, go ahead and please be sure to ensure that you've switched over to the brand new UI before you attempt to add in those team users. And so Zoho CRM's website also allows us to click on this link here to check out a fuller guide on how licensing with team users works within Zoho CRM. So this is something that we can review as well together. This kind of just goes through everything that we just went through. So an introduction to team users, what does that mean in the CRM? modules, users, and profiles, so organization versus team, so organization modules, users, and profiles versus team modules, users, and profiles. Uh, We have the types of team module profiles, team module limits, functionality supported within team modules, functionality not supported within team modules, and then team users functionality supported within the org modules. And so this is just, again, another breakdown of what team users are. And so CRM allows you to add those team users. They're allowed to work through specialized team modules, and then you can segment your CRM into dedicated team spaces. There is the distinction between organization modules and team modules. So we have modules, users, and profiles. So a module in the CRM groups the data, and then access to that data is determined by profiles. And then those users will have access on the organizational level or as a team user. This slide here just goes over again the difference between organization modules and team modules. This goes over the difference between organization users and team users. We have organization profiles and team profiles. We have the types of team module profiles as well. So we have admins as well as managers. Um, So admins will have complete control over the module's records as well as its configuration and members, whereas managers will have full visibility and control over all of the records within the team space. And so that's an important thing to note here. We also have members, participants, and requesters. So members will be able to view all of the records while they can also make changes to their own records within a team space. Participants can only view or work with their own records within the module. And then requesters are typically members from the other teams who can raise questions or requests to the team managing the module by adding records under the My Requests tab. So they'll be able to view the status of those requests from the same tab, but they won't be able to make any other changes to the records. There are some team module limitations. And so in the standard Zoho CRM, there is a limit of 10 custom modules that will be accessible as a team module. Professional has 25, Enterprise has 200, and Ultimate has 500. And then this is just another list of what's available to team users versus being available to org users. But again, we already kind of went through a lot of that information. Certain functionalities will not be supported within team modules, like majority of the AI features, escalation rules, as well as the types of fields being multi-select, lookup, roll-up, summary, and multi-user fields. As a quick note, the team users option and the team space functionality inside of CRM for Everyone is a relatively new feature, so there is a chance that one day Zoho will start releasing some of these features to our team users. But we might just need to hang on for updates there. As of right now, majority of AI features, escalation rules, and some of those more complex field types will not be accessible within team modules. This is just another more in-depth list of what team users will be able to do outside of the team modules and what they won't be able to do outside of the team modules. And then again, if you would like to purchase team user licenses for your Zoho CRM instance, you can go ahead and message sales at zohocore.com. Reach out to them and they'll be able to guide you in the right direction with getting team users added to your Zoho CRM. So this has been an overview of the team users subscription option specifically for Zoho CRM's CRM for Everyone UI. We hope you found this video useful. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.